Hi guys, what's going on? And welcome back to an episode of Total War Arena. So, we are going to be whipping them with Sulla today. Um, I was thinking, I took him out with the Javelins not that long ago, but it's actually been ages since I last got to take him out with the Roman Infantry. And that seemed a shame, so I thought we'd take Sulla out. Um, not really a lot to say about him. Obviously, I'm fully upgraded pretty much with my Centurions. Um, obviously running the second shield, even more important with this, particularly with the, the, the plus shield melee defense, knowing the way that Sulla's uh, fortifiability works, absolutely crucial. So yeah, pretty much all this to say, let's just hop straight into a battle and see how we get on. So we are loading him with our Sulla infantry uh, onto, um, I don't actually know what that's about to call, is it Marathon? Probably. I can never remember the difference between these and one of the other ones. I can never remember this in Thermopylae, which way around they're called. I think it's Marathon, or Marathon, I think. Um, but anyway, let's spawn in just from roughly in the middle. God, be careful to be avoiding any um, arch humor bobs because no real missile block chance with these slow infantry, so something we've got to be really careful of. Probably go up for this flag point, then we've got the option really to go sort of center or up top, depending sort of as and when we want to do. Uh, whip ourselves to get a bit of movement speed, and we'll put a prescription just on one of our units, um, just in case I have a bit of a mind fart later on and forget. At least it gives us a bit of an option there. Obviously, at tier 7, we've not yet got the fully upgraded cooldown and duration on the whip, so we don't get a full whip cycle like you do, for example, on our tier 8 javelins, which I've kind of got used to, so that's uh, pretty depressing, but not the end of the world, I don't suppose. Just can't quite take full advantage of the movement speed like you can um, once you get to the tier 8s. But what have we got initially? So many enemy cavalry, some blood riders chasing around a few of our Italian nobles. Uh, yeah, we'll think about moving up. Have we got any archers on our team? Yes, it's likely the enemy's had going to have some. No RT on our team though, so hopefully um, that's a sign that the enemy's probably not going to have any either. Well, you never quite know. These spearmen moving up with it. I'm probably going to push up this way. Is anything else going to the north? Not really. Slingers. Okay, are going on some wild flanking manoeuvre. It's a bit strange. Um, so we've got some Scythian archers here. Uh, in the middle. I really don't quite understand why those slingers went over there. But there we go. They have, so let's not complain. Let's get on whip going and start going this way. We're moving up with our Pontic archers. Let's support them. Oh, and the slingers as well. They're going to be hard for us to deal with. I'm not sure I want to go this way. If that's what I'm going to have to contend with. Um, obviously, our Pontic archers pretty short range, not in range of any of these guys. I think we'll pull back. Because I don't want to get caught by slingers at the tier 8 slingers, particularly just do immense amounts of weapon damage. Obviously, we've got really low missile block chance. Uh, what is it, 50? And no, no ability to raise it, no raise shields, no test do anything like that. So we've got to be really careful about this sort of thing. So if I was Germanicus, not really a problem. I'll push up, you know, we could look to engage someone around here. But being Sulla, that's one of the main things you would have got to be careful to avoid is enemy range stuff. So let's be pushing uh, by pushing missiles down here. We've got some, some tier 6 armored legionaries and some spearmen in the center, but we've got quite a lot of the stuff here. I would say mine. we have a numerical superiority. Ooh, good job, archers. So I think uh, aggression is the game of the day the for the moment. Let's see how we're going to work this. We've got these guys here. Sorcerer. I'm going to push you around. Oh, not ideally like that. We'll go into you. You'll probably help you vengeance yourself. Whip them. Pick them in. Um, do that. Have we got a... No, let's go on with a thingy there on them. Select everyone, do a strike. This is the problem with Sulla, is an intense amount of micromanagement that's required. Um, so we're getting all these guys with a good bit of stuff there. Over here we're doing okay. They're going on with Vengeance on their first unit, but only one unit so far. I'm going to hang in there just for the moment to see if they're going to go for anyone else, Vengeance. Uh, oh, we're getting a bit close to routing there, aren't we? Uh, we're not going into fortifying these ones because it's a bit more of a fluid fight unlike these. You can see so far we're doing pretty well against them. Our fortify is doing us pretty proud. We've got a prescription on them as well, so we're nerfing their uh, abilities. Looks like they're vengeancing up pretty hard on everything but uh, one of their units now. Uh, I'm going to start to think about getting in here by the looks of things. Go in with a strike. Okay, they're now vengeance on everyone. Now this is going to be an interesting question. Now what? Do we take, uh, do we pull out or do we take the fight? 
I mean, overall, I'd say it's not been going too badly, has it? Particularly with the prescription on on everyone. Shimmy them around slightly. Should have turned that one off. Uh, let's just keep everyone whipped and uh, striped. For now, um, I want to turn. I want prescription on that, and prescription off is on everyone else. Good. So that's going well for us. I think I'm just going to stick the fight out, to be honest. Despite the fact that, you know, in many ways, you should be pulling back from a vengeance. With the way our allies are doing it, we're not doing too badly from it, to be honest. And let's start to get some flanking maneuvers now. See what we can get in terms of getting these guys to rout. I might go through here and try and get. A flank there, you see. Might give me. Might give me. Give me! No, there we go. Nice. Get you off of your thingy. And then let's get you flanking. You can see the. <laughs> I'm trying to talk, but it's hard. Really hard, actually. Roundy, 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 roundy. Backy, backy, backy. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so that was the cost. Let's see what the cost of that was. You know, we took out, which is about half health on most units. One unit's pretty much dead. I still can't quite decide if I think I should have pulled back from that vengeance or not. There's a lot to say that I should have done, um, certainly. How's our own base looking? Well, not too bad, actually. There's quite a fight going on up here, isn't there? So let's push up this way. Um, let's see what we've got over here. These presumably are all vengeance, but they're probably not going to be by the time I get there. Only 10 seconds vengeance left. Um, so it's not so bad. But you see that Sulla does hold up well to vengeance. You know, he's no slouch. So certainly not to be sniffed at. Right, they're ticking off on their vengeance there. That's fine for me. Let's form line. Form ranks. Um, we've got our prescription on. You're probably going to have to have a prescription as well. With everyone. Ow, this is going to hurt. <laughs> That was actually very painful. Let's give it a couple of seconds to go for a stab. Okay. You are obviously engaging these people. You lot are engaging them. So that's just going to keep cycling our whips. I think we're okay to whip at the moment, although we're getting a little low on morale on some of the units. As we're going to drop into the wavering state, things are going to be a little bit worse from that point of view. You know, against these higher tier Romans, we have some risks in the sense that, you know, you're fighting higher tier Romans, but they're not vengeance anymore. They are prescribed... Realistically, you know, we should be able to stand a reasonable chance here. Let's finish these guys off. How's your morale there? Yeah, you're okay. You can afford a whip. Obviously, they're prescribed themselves. Turn your prescribe off. Turn off your... Oh, that's enemy cavalry. Okay. Nice move on their part. Are we going to route from that? Doesn't look like it, actually. They keep getting, getting their heavy infantry charges off, don't they? Right, so we've still got a few people here, and more importantly, we've still got our prescription on now on a really small unit, so that means our other units aren't getting the equivalent debuffs from fighting it either. Oof, I'm having a bit of a hard time of it, I must say. More than I would expect getting our spearmen pushing in as well now. Come on, keep your stabbing in. And fighting these high-tier Romans is hard. Uh, and we've lost Sulla and our um, prescription bonus as well. They're having quite a lot of luck continuing this, repeating their heavy infantry charge as well, which you wouldn't think would be that effective, but actually it's proving to be very effective. Even our own spearmen are pushing in and having a bit of a hard time of it. Um, whether we're going to break away with our one unit? No, it's just not worth it. Oops. Oops. Didn't mean to turn my fortify off at the last moment, but there we go. Okay, so we had some pretty intense fights going on there. I don't know how this battle's going to pan out. Be close, but we do have elephants, which is normally a good sign. Um, there's lots of enemy cavalry, though. We still have one unit. Keeping these um, Greek cavalry alive to get these archers is going to be pretty important. So, yeah, it's really... Hopefully that gave you an idea. Fighting lower tier units with vengeance, obviously you can sort of get away with it to some extent. Um, arguably, I should possibly have pulled back. It's kind of a balance between... Or the risk of well, the amount of damage you're going to take pulling back because you're going to take a little bit, but you are quicker because you know you've got your whip. If you activate a strike properly and then pull out at the quick time, you can pretty well get away from Romans without too much trouble. Um, but then that would have left our rest of our flanks exposed. And would these Romans have been able to get into our spears before their vengeance dropped off? Probably, um, which is half kind of what I was thinking about not pulling back. They're going to rout. Oh, you've got your back to Barbarian cavalry. Oh dear. 
Um, hopefully we're not going to go through this one away. So yeah, so whether that was worthwhile doing or not is kind of a, uh, a tough question. I think it probably was worth it all in all. You can see sort of the discrepancy of being I'm the green and the enemy was the red. We certainly did better on numbers and we wiped out all three of their units for probably about half of my uh, health. And fighting these guys didn't really go quite so well. Obviously we're waiting for their veggies to go off um, as they're coming down the hill. Obviously they are a higher tier unit though which makes it harder for us. Their weapon damage is intense at times. Um, they have a pretty good melee attack, and then they're the, these are the higher tier, the heavy Romans as well, so they have really good body armor values here. Yeah. 210, wow, that is pretty high. Um, and that makes it pretty hard for us to get hits on, and they also have pretty solid melee defense as well. Which is why these uh, tier 8 eagle cohorts can be quite hard to kill without vengeance. But I think if we had full health units and they were unvengeance, I would still expect to be able to do pretty well against them in most situations, even though they're a higher tier unit. So, yeah, all in all. Uh, not such a bad fight, I don't think. Um, these elephants able to get these guys to route. No, even the wavering state, they have 18 morale. Quite high, actually. But the elephants slowly finishing them off by the looks of it. Uh, some of our veteran legionaries seem to be having quite a tough time against these blood riders, but they should slowly be starting to cut them, cut them down now. If they're actually fighting them. It's only half seem to be doing. They half seem to be standing there. Oh, there we go. Oh, and a bit of a strike. Just got to do um, a little bit of assistance. Is that a parry? No, it's a vicious strikes. It looks like we're going to get this one. If nothing else, I think we're going to end up capping out if we don't walk out of the cap circle. Dull. Oh. Although we've still got one unit fully in. I'm not quite sure why they did that. Not really necessary. And of course, you don't get any more cap points. Don't uh, stack now. Like before, you used to better go to the cap circle, get a thousand cap points, walk, walk out, you know, reset it, and then gain up more cap points. Um, it doesn't actually work like that anymore. A little bit of a desync there. It doesn't actually work like that anymore. Um, if you step out the cap circle after being capping for you know 30 seconds, then you lose all your cap points. Your cap points will reset to zero because you've lost the cap points. So the cap points only retain once you actually finish the match, i.e. win the game by capping out. So uh, it's not quite like you can't farm cap points anymore in the way that you used to be able to. But we've got a fair bit of stuff now in the base, so it should be finishing off pretty soon. And we can have a look at some cinematics on the hiding behind the shields, although I think, to be honest, the, uh, all the enemy range is dead. There's some of the Greek cavalry fighting some of the uh, routed units in the enemy base. <laughs> and there we go, we're going to cap out in three, two, one. Oh no, it's premature. There we go, new cap's out. That took me a bit longer than I thought. Uh, so yes, yeah, so that gives a bit of an overview of Sulla and his Sulla infantry. I do enjoy them. Um, they are quite good fun. And they're a little bit more, well, they're a lot more flexible than Germanicus. But they don't quite have that same level of hard-hitting power that Germanicus does. Ready. You know, um, the whip obviously gives you that really nice melee attack bonus. A little bit of penetration as well. Not that that's staggeringly useful, but a little bit. So that makes them quite nice. And on top of your fortify just makes them really tough to kill. And then your prescription makes it hard for the enemies actually to do damage to you. So all in all, that's kind of why they work so well as a unit, I think. You know, they, they effectively end up with a high defense and nerf the enemy's attack, which is it's kind of a really nice combination. The problem is where they don't hold, you know, they can't quite output that damage in the same way, same way as, a, uh, you know, Avengers Germanicus can. Like, yeah, the video we did the other day, when we looked at Germanicus, you know, I've got Pillars of Corner, but Vengeance on, and we just absolutely cut everything down around us. These guys will never be able to do that. Um, because they don't have that damage output potential like uh, Germanicus. But they are a solid defensive unit. They get more flexibility, more mobility with their whip. And yeah, I must say, I think they're a pretty nice unit overall and work pretty well in uh, in most sort of situations. So anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed our little look at Sulla. Um, that's all there is to say, really. Let me know what you think in this video down in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel for lots more Total War Arena content. And I shall see you all on the next video.